this is Mike Aiello, N2HTT, and today I'd like to tell you about a really neat station accessory that I just built for my kit. This is the K8IQI Magic Box Transmit Receive Switching System. It's a device which allows you to have full QSK switching between your transmitter and your receiver. It also provides a high degree of isolation so that your receiver is safe when you're transmitting. And it provides a side tone for your little homebrew transmitter. Today I'm going to demonstrate this using uh, just a dummy load attached to this uh, watt meter. And the transmitter that I'm going to use is a little scratch built version of, um, this is a Tuna Tin 2. It has no side tone and very simple uh, transmit receive switch. So we're going to leave it in the transmit position and we're going to let the magic box do the switching. As you can see from the front of the magic box it looks a little complex at, front, at first but there's, it's actually quite logical. You have two connections. These are um, uh, stereo jacks for the keying. You attach your key to the magic box and the magic box keys the transmitter in turn. You have two connections for audio. Audio comes in from your receiver here and goes out to your headphones or speaker here. Here we have the connections for the antenna. The antenna itself, the antenna connection to the transmitter, and here the antenna connection to the receiver. Okay, let's see if we can cable this up. Uh, for this demonstration today I'm using a little inexpensive powered uh, speaker set up so that you'll be able to hear the audio. So, connections. First we are going to take the receiver connection and apply it here. Our antenna connection. Let's get this around here. Goes to the center BNC. Get that on there. There we go. Connection to the transmitter. Goes on the third. Let's get that out of the way. There we go. Okay. Now we have the key, which doesn't go to the transmitter, it goes to the magic box. There's the key connection. And finally, there should be one more cable here. There we go. Two more cables. from the magic box to the key input of the transmitter. And we have one more connection which is from the receiver to the magic box. So now the magic box front panel is completely connected. The receiver that I'm using today is actually my FT897 transceiver. And we'll just turn that on and we'll apply power to everything. Okay, so you can hear the receiver noise. Let me turn that down just a little bit. Okay. And as I key the magic box, uh, listen for the side tone. You'll see the light on the uh, transceiver flash in time. Uh, and you'll also hear the QSK. The receiver noise will mute when you hear the side tone. Magic Box also provides a nice little transmit LED that flashes in time. Okay, so that's the basic operation. We're getting our receive audio, and when we key, we're getting that nice smooth uh, switching over to the transmit. Some folks don't like to use QSK. Magic Box makes it possible to turn that off, although normally you'd want it on. But when it is turned off, you stay in transmit mode until a full second after your last um, uh, key. And then you heard that delay. Normally you want to leave that on. Two other features that are provided uh, by the magic box are a tune function. And that just throws you into 
um, you know, a solid uh, tune uh, key down situation. But the really interesting one, and I think it's the best part, is the spot function. With the spot function, I'm going to reach across here. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with the spot function, you hear the audio from your receiver blended with the side tone. <clears throat> and what this lets you do is it lets you zero beat your side tone in the receiver so your receiver is tuned to your transmitting frequency exactly. This is really cool. So, let's, uh, I'm going to reach over here so we can. Mm -hmm. Now you can hear the two tones. Here we go. I don't know if that's spot on, but it sounds close to me. So there you have it, the Magic Box, a really nice accessory. This is made as a kit by the Four States QRP Club. You can uh, find it on the web by searching for Magic Box K8IQY. The kit building is uh, pretty straightforward. It has a lot of parts. It's over 100 parts, and it's a through hole uh, circuit board, so you uh, will spend a little time building it. I think it took me all, to, all in all about, about three or four hours. But uh, well worth it, especially if you like to build little low power transmitters. Well, thanks very much. Uh, this is Mike N2HTT. Uh, thanks for your attention and go check out the magic box.